Hello, welcome to another episode of the EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Chris Costa. And I'm Joanne LaFlam. Hi, Joanne. I thought maybe tonight we could cover uh, quick order entry. That'd be great. I'd love to see that. Yeah, we have. That's one of the modules we really haven't gotten into much uh, mm -hmm. in a while, if at all, really. Um, one of the, I guess, an overview of quick order entry is um, it's really, let's say you don't want to give someone ac full, ac full blown access to estimating. Mm -hmm. You just want maybe an office person or even your estimator um, just to be able to select a template, you know, orders that are going to be static, not a whole lot of variable uh, to it and just select a template, save it and, and go. Okay. Uh, that's really what the, the purpose of quick OE would be. Great. Can we okay. take a look? Sure. Absolutely. Okay. So it, it is its own separate module. Okay. So if you see, uh, on the front screen here under the customer service, tab you know you've got the estimating order entry module here but quick order entry is its own separate module okay so if i access that it's going to look a lot like estimating order mm -hmm. entry from here okay you can still go into um, you know you'll have your list here if you wanted to to see those there but primarily you're just adding a, a quick order here like i said it's really if you want to give someone the ability to just mm -hmm. select from a template it is very template driven okay okay you have to select the template um, so, you know, you can see the component section, mm -hmm. uh, you just add your, uh, select your template and save it and, uh, that's about it. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, but you know, you do still have some options here, you know, you can still fill out the job description as you would want it here. You can put all that detail in, um, you know, you can still enter like, you know, your form number, PO number, some of these details, estimator, CSR, who the customer is, of course, uh, you can even fill out the user defined fields. Uh, all that detail and information will carry forward uh, into the estimate or the order. Okay, uh, so I'm going to add from here. When you select and add your component, like I said, it, it is template driven. So you're selecting, you know, a specific template that's that's in the database. So you okay. go right to a template. Um, okay. Okay. All right. Um, now with that template that's pre-built, does it, can I when I use that template? Do I have the ability to change it at all, or? Yes, you do. Okay. You do. Uh, and actually, that's a good question. We do have some, even some hidden, some options behind the scenes here. So if I look at this particular template, BC1, uh, if I push edit just to see, uh, when this template was first saved, you can see that you've got some options on the template here. Uh, one is the price grid options. You know, you can designate that uh, the price grid is used for estimates only, quick order entry only, or both. Okay, and that price grid will be the price that the order is calculated at uh, as opposed to the, the uh, processes and materials in the order? Is That's that correct. correct. Okay. That's correct. Okay. Um, and then a little bit lower here, you can see that price grid, and you can build that, you know, as many steps within the price grid as you want. Okay. Uh, one thing with quick order entry, you do have some options at the bottom. So let's say, you know, you've got a series of 50 templates but maybe you want the user to have a little bit of flexibility, mm -hmm. you know, for example, pre-press, uh, pre pre sorry, <laughs> uh, maybe pre-flighting. Mm -hmm. You know, you may want this process in, you may not want it in. Okay. So you might give the user that ability to pull it in on the fly or not. Okay. So, you know, you can have the template set up, they might select this, they might not. Same thing with material, they might overwrite with a specific material. Uh, so you can have a material option in here. So just a couple of things that they can select on the fly, but for the most part, uh, it is going to be off the template. Okay. Okay. So I'll say okay here. And yes. So let's say I wanted to select that template into the order. So it's going to, this will be your component screen uh, within quick order entry. So here are my options that we just talked about, you know, pre-flight scanning, some of the pre-press options. I've got a paper option here. So if I wanted to switch the paper, you know, I could, I could open that up. And I could add it, you know, to this order. Okay. Okay. Uh, if I wanted to bring one of these pre-flight, uh, pre-press options in, I could slide them over and add them as well. Okay. Okay. I can hit okay once done. I can, of course, add as many components as I want. You know, add the customer, fill out all the details here. Brochures. Uh, okay. Give it a detailed description if you want, and then save it just like you normally would. Okay. Okay. Now, once it's saved, can I print out the job ticket or print any reports from here? No, that, that's one of the differences with quick order entry. You would have to have full access to estimating order entry to be able to print, say, the job ticket. Um, 
and stuff like that. The you know the quote, all of those reports okay. will, will be printed out of um, estimating orders. So this is just a way to get orders in quickly. Yep, okay. just a very quick order. Yep. Okay. Uh, and it's also a way to segregate the the uh, rights. You know, maybe you want the mm -hmm. a specific person to only have rights to do this. You know, select the template, save it, and that's it. You're not going to let them get into order entry and maybe have the ability to change standards mm -hmm. inadvertently or stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Print great. reports. Maybe you don't want them to print certain reports. Right. In order entry. Okay. Great. Okay. Any other questions? Anything yeah. you think I missed? That was good. No? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Well, this was another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. Uh, I'm Chris Costa. I'm Joanne Laflamme. Please look forward to more to come. Thank you.